Alright guys, what's up? It's your boy Foops. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys the top three tips to make you overall a better player at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so tip number one in Counter-Strike is patience. You have to be patient in a game like Counter-Strike as where to Call of Duty. You can just run around the map, get frags, you know, and around in Call of Duty. Uh, I mean, Counter-Strike, you have one minute and like 35 seconds on the clock now, I think, in matchmaking. And I know that's what it is in ESEA. But you just want to be patient. Like, if you're playing here, you just want to wait, wait, listen, listen for the other people to come up ramp. You just need to be patient, no matter what. And then you flash out. Like, you don't... That, I ran into my own flash, but... Then you flash out. You don't always have to be the person to make the move, necessarily. Like, you don't have to be the person to get aggressive and push up. Some people just play better aggressive, but I think you play smarter, like, it's more smarter to play less aggressive sometimes. Like, you just have to know the spur of the moment, but most of the time you want to play passive, they call it passive, but it's just being patient, super patient, waiting for the team to make the... In Call of Duty, people would call it camping, but it's not really that. Um, so yeah, that's tip number one, is being patient. Just waiting for the team, waiting for the other team, like, say they're coming up mid, and you know they're coming up mid. You don't want to peek them because they might like double peek you, triple peek you. So you just chill right here and like maybe play like this and wait for them. As soon as he comes and peeks, you get the kill. And then you just sit there or you just back up slowly. And probably get the second frag. Same thing if they're pushing the ramp. You just want to sit here. Maybe wait down here and then throw a flash. Throw a flash over and then peek with it. Or you can just sit, chill right here. Wait for them to come. Straight one down, back off maybe repeat it yeah so just being patient and playing smarter don't rush in 3v1 situation don't and the last guy you guys know the last guy's in palace which is here I call that palace so you just don't want to rush in here like woo wee, I know he's in here let's kill him no you don't want to do that if there's a 3v1 because he kills one and then it's him closer for him to winning if he kills another then he's like almost um, 1v1 situation and he could win it all so you just want to be patient. You know he has to plant the bomb if he's on T side. Just wait him out, wait him out, wait him out. And once he comes out, then you get the free frag. Like, it's so easy. Um, so we're going to move on to tip number two. Okay, tip number two will be uh, peeking correctly, like peeking advice. I don't know. So, like, say they plant at A, right? Okay, and you're at B or whatever. You're coming up here. Normally people just go like this and just like go like that, right? Well, say if the guy is sitting right here, and you're just running around like that, like you're not gonna be able to turn to him really quick and get the kill. Like you might, but like eight times out of ten you won't get that kill because you have to flick and he'll probably already shoot you. So you always want to peek like this, like just take it slow. You never just want to full throttle like that. You want to take it slow, like just like peek, strafe, peek, strafe, like that. Just take it slow. Like, follow this corner of this wall with your crosshair like that. Just, I'm not the best at it, but just follow. Or follow this back wall like this. Follow the wall. That's probably better just to follow the wall than to follow this. I usually follow the wall. Until you get there. Like, you want to make sure you check everything. Because you could play right there, you just die. Same thing with, like, anywhere else. Uh, like, you're coming into B. You're co I mean, you're, you're holding B. You're holding B and they're coming out and say you're just pre-aimed right here and the guy just runs right past. Like you need to be ready. Like I, if I was you to have a more passive angle, if he runs by, just back up and then shoot at him. Don't like stay here and try to shoot at him like that. Just back up a little bit and then shoot at him. Back up again, shoot at him. And same thing with coming in here and like say you know there's a guy around this corner. Or say you know you're playing here and you know there's a guy in market. You don't want to just peek and stay right here. Because he can actually shoot you from like right there. So you just want to take it slow. You know, peek. Maybe pre maybe like peek. A couple shots right there. And then a couple shots right there. A couple shots right there. Um, so that's tip number two. Tip number three kind of factors in with tip number two. Um, and then I'll go after some mumbo jumbo after that. But on to the tip number three. So tip number three is all about crosshair placement, aiming at head level. You always want to aim at the head. You never want to aim, you know, at their feet or at their body, at the head. Because a headshot with AK is one shot, 
headshots with uh, M4 is two shots. So yeah, you always want to miss the head. And also, if you miss the head, you just spray down. Just aim down. Like the first ten bullets of the M4 are accurate. So you just pull down a little bit and you end up getting the kill. But you always want to make sure you're stopping. And the way it factors in is because when you peek corners, it has to do the same thing with like aiming. You just peek it like that. Always want to aim at head level. Just gotta get used to aiming at head. Maybe go in deathmatch and just try to only aim at head. Try not to maybe spray. Just keep aiming at head and keep like bursting people. In the bot DM that I uh, linked in my other video on uh, how to shoot properly. Okay, on to my other mumbo jumbo. Okay, so sorry for maybe not the most top quality, you know, like my voice and stuff. I'll get better as it goes on. Right now I'm sick. I actually have like a runny nose and stuff. So I'm just making this video just because I think this video is important. I actually want to get it out to help you guys. Like somebody told me to upload Minecraft and I don't want to upload a game I don't enjoy playing. I don't just upload videos of games I don't enjoy playing just for views or likes or whatever. I know my channel is basically Minecraft and and I that's like how I grew. That's how I got 1k subs basically. But I don't want to play that game anymore so you'll be seeing more Counter Strike from me. Unless I go back to Minecraft, um, which I could. I still hop on uh, Kohi every once in a while and play. I have a faction on there, but I don't do anything on there. Like, we don't have a, ba a beast faction base and stuff. And, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy my videos of Counter-Strike. I know I used to be a Minecraft YouTuber, but if you look back far enough, I used to upload Call of Duty, Battlefield, every game. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy See ya. I say that so yeah a lot and a lot of people, like one guy criticized me for it. So I'm going to try to improve my speaking abilities in my tutorials and tips, you know. See ya.